But then this dude opened his mouth and I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. I Is she pulling the sword out of her? Talk calculus to me. I mean, oh what? My. Hello, my precious little herbs. Valeria Hawthorne here. What are we doing today? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're gonna be reacting to every, all of them, every... I haven't even told you what it is yet. Okay, we're gonna react to every Genshin Impact character demo ever released up to date, whatever we have currently. Now, Genshin Impact, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is a huge game, massive, humongous, but I've never tried it, I've never played it, so I don't know much about a game, but I've been thinking about giving it a little try, maybe, hmm? And we'll see if these character demos are able to sway me, are able to make me want to download the game and play it right now. Okay, without further ado, we have a lot to go through, so let's just get started. Let's go. Let me shrink it myself a bit here so I don't cover up the beautiful, beautiful characters of Genshin Impact. So we're gonna start from the oldest video, the first one released, I think, at least this is the first one on the official playlist from the official Genshin Impact YouTube. So, let's get started. It says, Cryo Chapter, Cavalry Captain Kaya? Okay, let's see what this is about. Who is this Cavalry Captain? Oh. Yo, okay, okay, he's a cutie. Yo, let's go. Cavalry Captain for the Knights of Favon. Kaya, okay, okay. Wanna hear my story? Oh, please tell me. <laughs> He's taking us to a great place. Let's go. Yo, okay, but this looks beautiful. Oh, he froze them. Oh, oh, and who is this lady? Okay. We get a bunch more characters. Right. So, judging by... Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Wait, was that it? I want more. This, this, this was over so fast. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to go back. First of all, he's amazing. His design, love it. His voice, amazing. The music also, very nice. So I'm assuming he has, um, he has abilities that can freeze people. That's what I assume. I mean, there's some rain over here and then he, it says frozen. So that's what I assume. Also in the beginning, there is this snowflake kind of looking thing. So I assume this indicates his power. And then he, I guess they show how he works together with other characters in the team. So uh, this girl here used water, I think, and then he, with his powers he froze them. Okay, this looks convenient. He looks like a strong character. Okay, okay, and he's also wielding a sword. Not bad at all. The man, the design, the design. Mm, chef's kiss. Please, do tell me about your story. Tell me about your eye patch. I want to know. Okay, moving on. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, next up. We have new character demo. Fischl? Glanz der Nacht. Oh, German? Am I seeing some German? Wait. Wait, this is Chinese, if I'm correct. Oh man, but the scenery it looks so beautiful. Mine Fräulein. Wait. Yo, okay, she looks very cool. She looks like a princess. Okay, she she is a bow type of character. Damn, I love her design. <laughs> okay, okay, totally a princess. Totally princess vibes. The way she speaks as well. And she summons this bird. Okay, so she controls lightning from what I'm seeing. And the bird speaks as well. The bird speaks as well, so I assume the two of them work together. Did they say something? I shall send the Night Raven, right? So I assume that she works uh, together with the Night Raven. They, they kind of work together and they use lightning abilities and something. And he calls her Mind Fräulein. And then she also has the whole majesty type of... Uh, in the name of Immanachtreich. 
Okay, so she is a princess, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, it literally says it over here. Princessin. Okay, so she is a princess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She calls herself a princess? Wait, is she not a real princess? Wait, 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 what's going on? There's something going on here. But man, her, uh, the way, sh she looks like the typical Chunibyo 8th grader syndrome. Like, uh, I'm Sasuke, don't talk to me. I will summon my, my jutsu something something. <laughs> she looks like that kind of girl. But I love her design and, and the lightning. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here is the snowflake we saw earlier. And uh, this is, I assume this indicates the lightning, her ability. Okay, so there's a bunch more other abilities we need to see. Okay, let's, let's continue on. Next up, Pyro Chapter. Chef de Cuisine. Shang Ling? Ooh, okay, this is a new new thingy. Pyro, so is that gonna be like a fire? Oh, she's a chef. Okay, okay. Man, oh my god, this looks so beautiful. I just wanna... I'm just looking at the world and I'm I'm in trance. It's so beautiful. Wait, so she summons a little companion that <laughs> it blows fire. Wait, we see these guys again. So I guess they're showing us how they work together in a team. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. So. So she summons a little companion. He has a little chili. Wait, 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 does he eat the chili and then it starts blowing flames? It it becomes a living flamethrower. <laughs> this is so cute. Time to introduce you to my latest masterpiece. So her little companion uh, does uh, blows fire. Okay, okay. Oh wait, wait. Get Boba. Okay, I guess that's its name. And then she 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 has a, a polearm. And wait, there was one other ability we saw. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. She starts spinning fire around her. Yo, this looks so cool. Okay, okay. She she looks strong. She looks strong. Right. Let's continue on to the next one. Chi Chi. I see resurrection. Oh, again we have the snowflake. So I assume she's gonna have ice abilities as well. I see resurrection. Does she resurrect you or something? I am Chi Chi. I am a zombie. A zombie? I forgot what comes next. Wait, but she looks cute. I want to build a snowman. A snowman? I oh my god. Yo, she looks cute. Bridget. I like it. Hold my hand, please. This is not what zombies look like away. normally. Yo, and she has a little talisman on her head. Ooh, okay, so she attacks with some um, ice stuff that is flying around her. Oh, and she marks them with a seal. I should have stayed indoors today. Okay, so she wields a sword. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. She has a little talisman here on her forehead. Is that like I think in um, Chinese culture they do this? And she's a zombie. Is that does that have to do something with with her? Like, uh, make sure she doesn't go crazy and stuff. But she does not look like a zombie. Hello. If this is what the zombie apocalypse would look like, I wouldn't be scared at all. She's cute. She's so cute. Must protect. So precious. Okay. Okay. So she had like um like an ice ball flying around her that hits the enemies, and then. Okay, she freezes them as well. And she marks them with some sort of stamp. Is that gonna deal like uh, damage over time or is it some sort of buff or something? I don't know, I don't know, but she looks interesting. Okay, moving on. Mona, fate and destiny. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> Yo, she looks very good. I think I've seen her somewhere. Wait, it says element hydro. So is that the water type of characters? She's an astrologist. Yo, she looks good. Oh man, and it's so beautiful. 
Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. She jumped from the ground? Wait, is that a book? She's wielding... Okay, so is, is she like a, a wizard type of character? Yo. Okay, she looks very cool. And there were little constellations. Yeah, okay, wait, wait, wait. So she's an astrologist. From what I know, this game is very lore heavy. I, I've heard that the story is very good, very deep. There's a lot of stuff going on. And since she's an astrologist, is she gonna have some sort of deep connection to the story of the game? Is she gonna play an important role? Is what I'm feeling. So, okay. She 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 jumped from the, the ground. Does she travel underground? What's going on? What's up with that? And then there's water bubbles all around her. That's beautiful. And then she just... She's wielding some sort of book over here and he, she attacks them with um, water. Or Hydro, was it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Delve into destiny. Oh, and she summons this type of thing. Oh, it hits them with water. I guess it deals some, some sort of damage. Upon you. And then, man, this is so cool. Wait, did it show them again? They have little constellations on them. <laughs> Look, this is so cool. And they are all different as well. Okay, she looks very strong. I love her outfit. That hat. Can I please borrow the hat, ma'am? It looks amazing on you. Okay. Next up, we have... Ka... Ka... Ching? Yu Hang of the... Oh man, these names are complicated. Okay, let's just watch. Oh, is she gonna be a lightning type of character? Oh, oh my gosh, she's cute! Cat girl? Cat girls, hello? Okay, sorry, I paused. I am Kuching. Kuching. Chishing. Okay. Oh, she's a, a workaholic, maybe. Okay. Okay, she uses a sword as well. Wait. Oh my God, her attacks are so cool. She just teleported to them. Speed of light, indeed. With sword comes shadow. Yo, wait, wait, wait. There's multiple. Oh my god. You get closer to your goal with each passing day. Yo, did you see that? Her attacks look so cool. Even just her hitting them with a sword. That looked so cool. Look her jumping up in the air. Hello, ma'am. And then she, she shoots some some lightning bolt type of thingy to the enemies and then just teleports straight to it. Okay, okay. And then I assume this is her ultimate ability. She's so fast that you can see the reflections of her man speed of speed of light. Yes. She looks very strong. Okay, is she? And I love her design. These buns. The ponytail is very cute, very nice. And the purple vibe, I love it. Love it. Okay, next up, we have Venti. <laughs> I would like a, a mocha latte cappuccino Venti uh, with uh, frappuccino, a whipped cream, a soy milk, almond milk, and uh, <laughs> something else. <laughs> a bard's business. So is this going to be Japanese voiceover? Oh, okay. So is this going to be a bard? Yo, the Japanese voice acting is amazing. So it is a bard. Can you actually play the instrument in game? I'm curious. That would be really cool. Oh, 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 shit's about to go down. How dare you interrupt the bard? Now he's gonna kill her, I assume. Or just play the liar for her and kill her. Is he wielding a liar? Is that what it is? One of the many bards of Mondstadt? Oh, he's an archer. Okay, okay. But I love the vibe. The, the green really suits him. And then... 
Okay, okay, I assume. Wait. He actually uses the liar as well as a as an ability? Wait, he just flies up. Is that a, a wind type of ability? Is he using the powers of wind? And he sucks them all together in like a black hole kind of thing. Wait, and now it's all fire? Oh my god. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so he wields a bow. I think we saw that. Oh, wait. Over here, he starts shooting at uh, the enemy. And then this liar. I guess he, he uses a liar to summon this, this wind and knock the enemies off or something like that. And then he can also fly up. Oh, wait. Here it's all lightning. So... Does it like um, uh, the, the air picks up the, um, the other abilities that are being used and it, it uses them together? Yo, this is so cool. Having two abilities react with one another. Okay, okay. This is a very interesting concept. Right, let's let's continue on. Flee! Da, 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 da. Da. <laughs> what is this title? Okay, let's watch. The legendary girl, wait, 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 this is too fast, sunlight girl read something, strongest fighter in Mondstadt, it must be... Are you here to play Tiny Cleave? Okay, She's cute! You'll be in charge of the storm watch, which means you warn Klee the second you see Jean coming. She's so adorable! Oh my god. And the music as well, ah, it's such a vibe. Wait, what is she... She uses a book as well. Wait. Are those bombs? Who gave this little kid bombs? You shouldn't play around with bombs. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. Consequences. Oh my god, she looks beautiful. Is she a playable character as well? Wait, what's going on? Did she get grounded? <laughs> this is so cute. And there she goes again. Time to throw some more some more bombs. What was that? Like a giga bomb? A massive bomb? <laughs> She's like those those characters in action movies. She just walks away from the bombs blowing up behind her. <laughs> oh man, this is so cute. Blasting! Wait, wait, wait. Who, who gave this little girl bombs? I have questions. Okay, but she, she's using the book type of thing here as well. So I assume that's a different kind of weapon. And then she just throws bombs. Jumpy Dumpty. This is so cute. Totally not for a fish blasting. Extra exploding formula. Wait, wait, wait. Who gave this little girl bombs? No wonder she gets grounded. No wonder. And then at the end there was another interesting ability over here. This one, it kind of shoots like lasers. Is this her ultimate ability? There's like some flower type of things in the air and they, they just attack everything and she's just... She's just walking away from the... From the fight scene like... Like a badass. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cute. Wow, okay, let's let's move on. Diona, wine industry what blue wine in industry slayer. She wants to destroy the wine industry? Why? No. Okay, let's let's watch. Oh, is she gonna wield the ice as well? <laughs> wait, wait, why is she she looks so sad? Wait, first of all, she's cute, adorable. I love the hair color. I love the hair color. And she's a little cat. Why is she mixing cocktails and looking so sad? Is she being forced to make cocktails? Oh no. Wait, is that a little cat? Diana, bartender at the cat's tail. She's a bartender. I feed for private events. My ears and tail are no prop, they're real. Proof of my cat's line bloodline. Cat's line. But life as an exologist is very okay. busy. When I'm not at the tavern, I'm out collecting ingredients for new recipes, so... Wait, wait, wait. Is urgent, don't bother me. 
but is she the one that wants to destroy the wine industry? Okay, so she also wields... Oh my god, that was so sassy. Okay, she also wields uh, ice. Boo's hound. <laughs> and she just freezes them. I, I wasn't waiting for you. I just happened to be resting. Wait, wait, wait. So, so she's a bartender and a mixologist, but she wants to destroy... She's a wine industry slayer. What's up with that? Someone explain. But wait, what was that? So she shoots. She uses a bow. <laughs> Look at that move. That, that's so sassy with the, with the little hand. And she was like... <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so there's like a, some sort of shield appears around her. And then the enemy gets frozen. And then she throws... Is that a... Uh, a cocktail uh, shaker mixer whatever it's called that she throws at them this is so so well thought out wait i see a little plus signs is she like a, a healer support type of buff character okay okay i see okay she she's cute she's cute adorable i love it child child with an e child is, is this gonna be a child a letter to snezh Snezhnaya? Dearest sister, I've been away for so long, I've almost forgotten the cold of our home. Oh? You know I grow restless okay, it's when not a child. And born. Though in Liyue, fuses of excitement Liyue. can be found everywhere, just waiting for the right spark. Okay, okay, he's cool. He's a he's a cool guy, and he's just riding the waterfall like it's like it's nothing. Wait, is that a polar? A spear type of thing that he's wielding? But it looks different. And he just slashes them. So he uses water abilities or um wait, now he has a bow. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Did he just change weapons? Now's our chance! That's so. Can he wield multiple weapons or or what happens? If you were smart, Man, he looks so cool. Oh, well, now he has the other. Okay, so does this like change his It'll hands or something? But I still won't hold back. <gasps> Wait, he he detached the pole arm into two blades. Taking care of some trivial matters here, really. But Tonya, rest assured. Tonya. The future that Sarita desires. Sarita. Snezhnaya desire. Snezhnaya. Wait, so so is this like inspired by Russia? And also, wait, he wrote a letter to his sister and he's like, um, don't worry, I'm, I'm not doing anything special over here. And then they, they show him slaying a bunch of people. Is he like, uh, is that his job? He's like sent on a mission to fulfill someone's desires and orders. But his abilities look very interesting. He, here he has like two blades that he can make into one longer blade and now he suddenly has a bow. Not much of an adversary. I guess he changes his stances depending on the Wait different abilities he you, use. He uses. Okay, now he uses end. something. Okay, so. no, this is still with a bow. And then I think this is gonna be the change of stance and weapons. You smart, you yeah, and now it's the long, the long whole arm type of thing that, that can detach itself into two blades. Uh, there's a lot going on, but he looks very cool. He looks very powerful. It'll be an easy victory, but I still won't hold back. I like him. Your His brother. design looks amazing, man. And what a loving brother. His He's writing letters to his family. Nice, nice. Let's see, who do we have next? Oh, that's a name. Uh, Shin? Yen? Oh yeah, rock on. Oh, do we have a musician? And I'm also hearing some guitars. And we saw the fire. Oh, okay, she looks, she looks cool. Wait, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I paused, but her design, she looks very cool. Is she like part of a rock band or something? She looks very cool. Love the red and black aesthetic of her outfits. Shinyan, okay. I was close. Wait, who is that? Sign me up for your world tour. Anywhere's good. 
Isn't that like uh, the main character of the game, I think, from what I've seen? Almost about to go live over here. You coming? Yeah! Wait, she has a big sword. Pyrotechnics. Okay, okay, so she deploys like a shield. Yo, okay, and there's just fire everywhere. And there's just and there's just fire everywhere. Wait, 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 we need to go back. When she uses this, I assume it's like a shield here. I can see little sound waves. This is such a nice little detail that they added because she's a musician. I assume because she she had like an an, an instrument, a bass or whatever it was. This is a not such a nice little touch. And then just some explosions in the end. Okay, okay, I see. Yo. Okay, she looks very cool. She looks very cool. Let's see, who do we have next? Zhong... Zhong Li? The listener. Okay. Hello, listener. We last left off with ancient Liyue, beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Dragon? Rex Dragon these nuts. <laughs> Sorry about that. To restore peace. Wait, is this a guy? They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Oh my god, the music. Oh my god. Oh my god, he looks so hot. Uh, um just um a uh, sir. Ow, he's so cool! Um, uh, that's a big pillar, sir. That's a big pillar you have there, sir. And he's just chilling there. He summoned the shield and he's like, I think you can attack me. This is an <laughs> Watch age of this. Gods and His voice. I wish not for Yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. Oh my god, the music. The music is insane. I'm getting chills. Chills all over my body. And this video is so well done. Oh, wait, wait. Is someone... Was that a meteor? Dude. Oh my god. Just take my ovaries and use them as Christmas decorations, sir. I I give up. To cleanse the land Ooh. and defend our safe harbor. That was the first contract in Leo. And now, the final contract, too, has been set in stone. Wait, wait, wait. There, there is so much to process. I can't. I, 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 I have chills all over me. I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is, oh my god, the music. His vo At first, I was, when this guy was speaking, I was like, yo, his voice is nice. But then this dude opened his mouth and I was like, oh my god, I'm pregnant with your baby. Here, have my child. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm simping too hard. I'm sorry. Uh, right. We are reacting. He looks so cool. This part right here. Okay, so he can summon this. Right. Wait, let's analyze. So he uses uh, a spear as well. And he summons this big stone rock pillar. So are his attacks like uh, rock earth based? When it resonates, something is happening. And now he has a shield around him and he's just like, he's being chilling while everyone is trying to attack him. And he's like, you think you can land a hit on me? Good luck. And then a fucking meteor. As if he wasn't already cool enough. And what is that attack? He just charges through them. Sheesh. My guy, chill. Relax! And then it's meteor. Order. Oh yes, you will have order. And then everyone is like... Uh, they're not frozen, but th th they became statues. Dude, he is so cool. And then they just disappeared. Poof. It's like you looked into Medusa's eyes and you turned to stone. And, and, and someone was like, poof. Now you're gone. You no longer exist. <laughs> And I can't get over the music. 
the music is so good. I could be sitting here all day vibing, uh, but uh, we, we have a lot more left to, to, to look at. So uh, let's do that. <laughs> uh, Albedo? Is that Albedo I, I'm thinking about? The, the hot, sexy lady Albedo? <laughs> Probably not. Contemplation in chalk. Okay, let's take a look. This is Timaeus's newest design. Timaeus. Hmm. A commendable achievement. 20 more years. And 20 years? We can let him make a start on the textbook Sucrose uses today. Wait, what textbooks? Is he like a big brain kind of character? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting so far. Raida Prince. Okay, he uses a sword. He has very quick attacks. And what was that? Like a flower appeared? My guy, are you not cold? He summons like a, a flower kind of thing. Wait, he floats? He can float? Okay, okay. Oh, it's a little girl with the bombs. They are teaming up together. Let's go. The universe. Yo. of the starry void. The video production is Earth. amazing. The Earth. memory of time and being. Is he an Earth type of character as well? Soil. The origin of alchemy. Alchemy. Of Wait, so he's an alchemist. Shock. The substance from which primal life is molded. Yo, and he just attacks them and there's some explosions going on and the area of effect is so wide the range of that was so big <laughs> oh no it, it seems like they make a, a great no, not at the... <laughs> seems like they make a great team she has a stage from which to throw her uh, her her little bombs well i say little but uh, some of them were <laughs> very very powerful very big but okay he has interesting abilities. I assume he he is an Earth type of character as well, because I didn't see any. Uh, uh, there's like a golden type of uh, of reaction happening whenever he attacks, and then this flower over here that he just created. So apparently you can fly from it, or you know, up to a certain extent. And then it seems like some sort of attacks are getting applied whenever you attack them while you are. In, in the flower's range or something like that. And then in the end, his ability waits over here. He just hits them with, with more flowers or, or something. And then there's explosions. And look, the area of this is so wide. Okay, okay, he looks very powerful. Right, moving on. Next up, we have uh, Gan Yu, Radiant Dreams. Man, this looks so peaceful and nice. I would be sleeping as well. She looks so beautiful. Wait, does she have horns? Sweet flower. So called because she of does. Its sugar content. As a food, it's not the healthiest option. But feasting my eyes on it works wonders for my mood. Wait, don't tell me she worries about her food choices. So you can eat that flower if you want. Oh, she's an archer as well. And she uses eyes from what I saw. Don't we have many of these already? Or at least eyes characters. I think we've seen so many of them. Yeah, now they're frozen. Wait, so she can freeze them with her arrow as well. Please don't touch my horns. That is so cute. Oh, it is the zombie girl. Oh. So I was asleep. It was just a dream. It was only just a dream. All hail. Blaze over. Wait, is this like a, a disco ball that shoots out eyes? Yo, this looks very cool. And she looks so elegant when she's just attacking everything around her.
She's so pretty. I love it. I love her. Her design, her abilities, they look so amazing. Wait, is there something here at the end? Wait, wait, there's more. Oh no, she's falling asleep again. Girl, go sleep. Go take a nap. Oh, cute. Okay, so she can freeze them with arrows. And then was there something else that we missed? Wait, she shoots out some sort of flower. And the enemies were looking at it, so does it like attract the enemies and then it boom, it explodes in your face? <laughs> Type of thing. And then the disco ball. The disco ball that shoots out eyes. Nice, nice. She looks very, very strong. Okay, next up. Uh, Xiao Doombane. Oh, but the scenery the Oh, oh, wait. We have a... He, he has a mask. Yeah, we have an edgy character. Is this Sasuke? <laughs> These are matters for Adepti. Adepti. Stay out of my way. Oh my god, he looks so badass. And he has a, a whole arm as well. A spear. And he just dodged. Insignificant. <laughs> He's so cool. Oh, you try and attack me? Insignificant. He just insults you. Wait, why do they keep showing him with a mask on and off? And he looks in pain. Uh oh. Is he consumed by some dark powers or something? Okay, I guess yes. I guess that's the case. Oh no, my guy is in pain. Someone help him. No, he's so edgy. The music, though. Wait, now he put on the mask. Yo, his abilities look so cool. And he can jump up really high. I think when he puts on the mask... Wait, there's more. Yo, the mask though, it looks very, very cool. So, um... Yes, very edgy character from what I can see. Yes, he's like, I'm 13 and this is deep, kind of edgy. But man, he looks really cool. So he uses a spear. And then he, he just dashed away from an attack over here. I guess that's one of his abilities. He can just dash around. Insignificant. And then he insults you. He, he dashes around and he's like, oh, pathetic. I spit on you. <laughs> and he just, he just dashes around. And then something happens here. He puts on the mask. He puts on the mask and then he jumps up very high. Is that part of his abilities? I believe so. And then he can dash in the air. And he, he just jumps down and attacks them. But it didn't look like uh, normally attacking them. It looked like they were infused with... Um... Oops, sorry about that. It looked like his attacks were infused with uh, his element. Which I'm I'm not sure. Is is he gonna be like air? Like the bard guy? Because um, he doesn't look like anything else. So I assume he might be an air type of character. With seeing how easily he dashes around and jumps. That might be the case. Okay, next up. Who Tao? Let the living beware. Uh-oh. Why should the living beware? Uh-oh. I guess the zombie girl is gonna be safe in that case. <laughs> if the living need to beware. Hey, uh, you sure we're going Ooh, the right spooky. way? Spooky. There's any treasure in this creepy place. <sighs> this treasure map's bow ours. We just follow it all the way. The music is very hey, Oh, wait. wait, wait, wait. What happened? Did the music is very spooky. And the place as well. Are we gonna get jump scared? Wait, it's a ghost! Oh, and it's such a cute ghost! <laughs> Why did a ghost get scared? Quick, do something! Oh my god, she looks adorable! She looks so cute! And she uses a spear as well. I think we've seen so many spears. Order of duality, impermanence of fate. I raise this butterfly to guide thee. Wait, is she like a... Uh... Yeah, so many droll people. Fatui, not even worth the tease. Okay, she uses fire as well. 
and everything is on fire. You're gonna set the whole forest on fire. Uh oh, zombie run away. And she just attacks people with a ghost. See you on the other side. See you on the other side? Wait, wait, wait. This, this uh. Oh, jump scare. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Wait, so there, there's this whole the spooky vibe, the music, the living beware. See you on the other side and the ghost. Is she like an Undertaker kind of character? Does she send people to the afterlife or, or what? She just uses ghosts to set people on fire and then she's like, <laughs> see you on the other side. Oh my man, this ghost is so cute. Can I buy a plushie? Please, I will hug it and love it forever. And she also looks so cute. She looks so adorable. And she, she just appears out of nowhere. Okay, so she uses a polearm as well. Wait, now all of a sudden her polearm is on fire. I assume that's one of her abilities. Her attacks just become fire. And she just sets everything on fire. And then she uses the ghost to smack everything around her and set even more stuff on fire. She she looks very cool. Very, very cool. From what I'm getting so far, all the all the characters that wield fire are very uh, uh dangerous individuals. We have the, the bomb girl and now her just smacking people with ghosts. Um yeah, nice. Right, next up. A Rosaria, no overtime ever. Agreed. I, I agree with you, my girl. I vibe with you. Yes, I agree. No overtime. Wait, is she another ice character? She looks so... <laughs> um, Me? flushed emoji. I'm just another ordinary person. Church, work. I just do what I have to do. Uh, uh, her design, hello? Worse than the next. If it's not Wait, is she a nun? Choir or some other thing I'm supposed to participate in. She does not like... Stay out of sight. Pray. She does... Not for the gods nor the betterment of others, but for yourself. Okay, those are some wise words. Wait, this is not what a nun should look like. Hello, but uh, I mean, I like what I'm seeing. And another character that uses a spear, so many of them. And she just throws a massive spear and she just kicks them. Oh my god, I wish that was me. Except over time. I wish that was me. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? Everything is negotiable? Everything is negotiable, except over time. You know what? Yes, I already said I agree with you. Yes, I do. But my girl, you say in over overtime, but what are those bags under your eyes? I saw some bags under her eyes earlier. What are those bags under your eyes? You need to sleep. Take care of yourself. But her design, though, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like it. Okay, so she uses a spear. And she just attacks people. And she just smacks them around and kicks them. And then... Oh, I saw some ice particles over here. Is that one of her attacks? She just smacks multiple people around. Punishment. And then she she uses the massive spear. And then I assume it, it deals some damage over time. And then she just kicks you and I'm like, ma'am. I wish that was me. Uh, I mean, what? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> okay, next up. Yan pay legal expertise oh another fire character okay is she like a lawyer or something My name element is viral Gary, top legal expert in Lila, and for the avoidance of doubt no one else comes close i'm fully versed in every area of the law okay How okay the law can be both a help and a hindrance that's a massive book man I don't I don't Only envy law students at law all. Can the people solve life's myriad of problems? <laughs> well, she looks really cute. I love her outfit and the hair color. Wait, she just shoots fire? What is this? This incinerate circle thingy, donut thingy flying around her. Is that her weapon? Is that a different kind of weapon? Wait, was that a stamp? <laughs> My point is, you can always rely on me. Did she just attack them with a big stamp here in the end? It's so, okay, she shoots out a fire. 
Okay, and there's there's some other floating things around her. Is that part of her ability? And then it's just a ma it gets stomped on. <laughs> it's just a massive stamp of fire that hits them. Hey, okay. And wait, wait. What was that? What is she holding? Is that like a, a judge's type of? Ah, it's too fast. I can't see this. Is this like um? You know what I mean? Like a judge type of, uh, you know, the law, right from wrong. But shouldn't there be two, two of these things? Anyways, but yeah, um, I love how every character is uh, their outfits and abilities and everything is inspired by what they do. Like the bartender girl would throw a, a shaker, a mixer at you, and she's just stomping, stamping people with stamps and stuff. I love it. Okay. I Iola? Flickering candlelight. Ooh. Dance of Sacrifice, Act 3. Flickering candlelight. She's pretty. Wait, wait, wait. Is she a dancer? Yo, she's got the moves. Them hips. Let's go, slay girl. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yo, her design, though, amazing. She's so elegant. So elegant looking. Now hit them. Wait, she has a big sword as well. And she's just waving it around like it's nothing. Aristocrats, wait. She's an aristocrat? Or was? Man. Oh, vengeance. Wait, wait, wait. As a descendant of a fallen ancestry, a fallen ancestry. Free from the chains of revenge. Okay, so I, I guess she was an aristocrat, or her family was. The way she just swings this sword around like it's nothing. Hello. Shudder. Is that not heavy, ma'am? Okay, and there's some ice falling down on everyone, and she's just dancing, and she's killing everyone. Let's go, queen. Are you here to spy on me? <gasps> uh oh. Uh, no. I was just worried you might be in trouble. Not yet. It takes two to tango. Oh. Shall we? Oh. Oh my God. Huh? Yes, please. You were talking to me, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't really understand what her abilities were. So she just attacks with his sword and then there was some um, was part ice particles flying around or her attacks infused with ice. Wait, okay, so... Rack and ruin. <gasps> There's some stuff falling down. Is that like a big a, the, a big sword, the one she's carrying? She just attacks them and then they start falling down on them? Yeah, okay. She, she, very, she looks very elegant, very beautiful. And um, uh, yes, I would I would love to dance with you. Yes, please. Uh, when, when asking for a friend. <laughs> All right. Next up, Kaidehara Kazuha, Wandering Winds. Uh, okay, that's a Japanese name. Okay, so so far we've seen characters. Some of them looked like uh, they were uh, European inspired. There was a bunch of German characters or something, and then there was some. A Chinese ones, I believe. And now this is a Japanese name. Is this from the different regions in the game? I assume. But let's let's see. Solitary cloud. Oh. Shadow in the setting sun. Wait, is he writing a haiku? Mm. And the last The last line. line. He is writing a haiku. Oh, someone's attacking you, run! Dude, he's so cool. Honestly, <laughs> can't even finish my haiku without oh, being the Can't even finish the haiku. Yo! Oh my god, dude, chill! He has such fast attacks. Yo! Oh my god, he's a professional swordsman. Wind Strider, wait, so does he control air as well? He just sucked them all up and... Then jumped down on them. He's like a samurai type of character. You're really going to trust me, despite my being from Inazuma. Wait, I really love the vibe. My mind is like a wind on For the waves. video. 
It can change in an instant. Kid, I think I got you figured out. The prediction of his video, oh, holy, it's amazing. Case, you saw this coming. It's like an old Japanese what, film you mean movie. These amateurs? <laughs> I was saving him for you. Okay, let's go, let's go. He's so quick on his feet. Adorn my night. And there's just leaves flying all around. Maple leaves, like his outfit. I really love his design. Oh, my last line stirs the drifter's heart. Okay, okay, so we have a swordsman that's a poet that uh, is very cute. Very cute. Man, his sword attacks, they look so fast. And then, where was it? He, here, he just sucked some enemies up. Windstrider. Windstrider, okay. He sucks them up and he jumps up and attacks them. And then I, I believe here in the end, that was his like uh, big ability, the ultimate ability. He summons like this big uh, cloud. Uh, or whatever it's called, of, of leaves. Do they provide like a buff sort of effect or something? This is what I, I'd assume unless they deal damage, but man. Okay, okay, let's go. Kamisato Ayaka. Camellia in winter snow, another Japanese name, okay. I guess these are all the Japanese inspired characters. Tachijutsu is your honor embodied. Your will revealed. Very Japanese looking. The wielder's mind must be pure, tranquil. She she, she just looks like a Japanese uh, from a noble family or something. Uh uh. Put the sword away. Victory in a single motion, too perfect to be parried. Another sword user, but it makes sense. Words of my mother. I have long desired to learn the blade work of another land. If I may, I would like to spar with you. She's so beautiful. Yo, and the music. I'm, I'm getting the shivers. So elegant. Oh my god. She just slashed. This is so anime. She just slashed him, put her sword away, and then the enemy gets cut in half. Ten seconds later, they they don't even realize they're dead yet. Take flight. Yo, she is so beautiful. I feel like with every character demo, the videos have improved significantly. Is this like a? A, a, a nice storm type of thing, ice whirlwind something. I don't know how to call it. My lady, your form is as flawless as ever. Wait, who's that? Although, maybe try a softer touch. <laughs> He's so cute. No gets injured. Who is he? Oh, was I hitting too hard? Oh, please, girl. We still have room to improve. Go as hard as you want. Don't hold back. Toma, before the traveler arrives, spar with me some more. As you wish, my lady. Okay, typical. Know the traveler's skill with a blade. She looks like a typical Far Japanese lady from a noble family. And she's just learning how to use the sword. So elegant. Her attacks were so elegant. She just slashed this enemy like it was nothing. In the way, she just puts her sword away. So cool. Wait, she also jumps up from the water like the, the other girl. What was she? Um, the astrologist. She, she jumped up from the ground. Do they have the same kind of abilities? And then what is this? Is it, does it apply like uh, ice? Can't really see properly from the way this uh, was shot. But man, the, the video. Beautiful, amazing. And then this is her big attack, I believe. Yeah, just the ice coming your way to freeze you to death. And she's just like, <laughs> she's just there like, she's just there like, oh, 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 did I freeze you? Oh, I apologize, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, <laughs> love her. She, she looks amazing. I think I'm saying that about everyone, but man, the character designs where everyone has been so 
good and the music for the videos i can't believe they're making whole trailers and and a whole special kind of i assume the music is um this character's theme music that they're using there's been so much detail and effort put into all of this it's just amazing i'm mind blown next up we have sayu you who art mujina escape okay let's take a look Recon confirms no sign just... of the shrine maiden within a three mile radius. <sighs> She's so cute! Wait, is she like um... a. a <laughs> I wish she can hide in a. Wait, what were they, they called? The Japanese raccoons? Tanuki? Was that the name? Wait, she's a ninja! My girl, isn't this sword too heavy for you? She's barely wielding it around. Oh wait, her voice sounds oddly familiar. Is this... Is this Lily Pichu? Wait, she just rolls. She becomes into... She turns into a ball and starts rolling. Oh, we see the plus signs again. Okay, I'm, I'll go back later. Why does everyone want to sleep here? The girl with the horns wanted to sleep. Who else wanted to sleep? I don't remember. But look, we ha we have those pluses here as well. Is she like a healer too? And I, I didn't really see a specific element, so I assume she uses air, the air element as well. And, and she heals. She's like a support type of character is what I'm guessing. But her voice sounds familiar, isn't she? Could, could that be... I know Lily Pichu has voiced a character in the game. Is that her? It sounds very much like her. So, unless there's someone else and I'm mistaking it, I um, I assume this might be her. But okay. Right, let's, let's continue on. Yoi Mia, dazzling lights in the summer. Interesting. Hey, Pops, rise and shine. Oh, the music. She's beautiful! Oh my god, her outfit? 10 out of 10. Ah, she looks so cute! Okay, she's an archer as well. Pew, 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 pew! pew. <laughs> this is so cute! Wait, so she uses fire as well. I love how she just went pew, pew! This is so cute. And and you you turn into a firework. Man, this is so beautiful. I'm literally getting chills from like every video. The scenery, the fireworks. Is this an evil dude? Is this the enemy? Even he stopped to look at them like, man, look at this, this is so beautiful. They were mid-fight and they were like, wait, we gotta watch the fireworks first. Ah, beautiful. And now they... And now they continue. Wait, does she shoot literal fireworks? That's her ability? Oh, it's the ninja girl again. And she just smacks them. next time she looks very fun and very Although, cheerful if you wanted to make yourself more useful you could try wearing something a little more fun and festive or pretend to be ghosts to entertain the kids you know liven up the atmosphere i can't just uh yoi mia they've already run off huh hey i wasn't done talking <laughs> she's so cute she she looks so cheerful and uh and adorable but okay so she uses a bow and she has fire attacks and, and now she was rapidly shooting out fire. I assume that's one of her abilities. And then... Yeah. She, she just turns them into a firework. And then she just shoots up in the sky and shoots literal fireworks at them. Yo, she she's so cool. But her design... I love her design. I really love, like, the the bandages type of, of thing. And, and the, the ropes around. She's amazing. Okay, okay. Alloy. Otherworldly hunter. Other... Huh? 
Aloy Wait, is that alloy from Fortnite? But my arrows are sharp and my I'm kidding, I'm kidding. From uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? I'll do what I can. I didn't know she's in the game as well. This land has a past full of secrets. Just like my world. So I assume they had like a collab if or something? Time. I wonder if there's just any other characters now another. If, that they've collabed with from other games I'm or Aloy. anime even. Ready for the hunt. That would be cool. <laughs> Okay, okay, she she uses a bow, yes. And she throws something. I'm not familiar with Horizon Zero Dawn, so uh, I assume she uses abilities similar to her own in that game. This is a new one. It's a new one? Okay, is this a new ability? Okay. Or no. So she uses wait, so she was released September 1st, 2021. That was Oh, oops. That was long ago. Unlock her for free with early access on PS5 and PS4. I wonder if everyone managed to get her for free. And can you get her now? Or was she a limited event character only? Okay, anyways. That was interesting. I wonder if there's any other collabs happening. But let's let's take a look. Who else? Pujo Sara, Thunderous Devotion. Another archer. I guess they love their archers. Mind, arrow, and bow. The mask though on her head. Thunder speaks the will of the Almighty Shogun. Wait, the Almighty Shogun? The duty of a Tengu warrior is to watch over the mountains and forests. Tengu. Well, that, that explains the mask. Wait, so she... by your side, and I will honor that commitment. She uses lightning as well, and she's watch, a bow. Inazuma will always be defended, and the will of the Shogun will always be done. Again, the scenery. The oh, she has wings. Okay, well that explains. She said Tengu. Yo, she looks so cool, though. Flash. Flash. She just disappeared and teleported behind him. Let's go. And then he just, she just shoots him with lightning. Ayo, that's a cool attack. To manifest eternity per the Almighty Shogun's will. That is what I aspire to. Yo, okay, okay. So she looks like she is a leading uh, an army or something as well. I guess that's her story in the game. For uh, she's uh, one of uh, the Shogun's uh, warriors, trusted trusted people or something. So she uses a bow. And there was that ability here where she just teleported behind the enemy. She's like, oh, you thought you, you can hit me, but no, you can't. And then she shoots it with with lightning and then this massive ability over here. She she just summons the... She, her uh, I can't talk. Wings appear on her back and then she just summons this massive lightning that strikes everyone. Yo, she she looks really cool. Okay, 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 I see you. I see you, Genshin, trying to seduce me to play your game. It's working. <gasps> Wait, is this the Shogun? We are about to see the Shogun that the previous character was working for. Raiden Shogun, Judgment of uh, Euthemia. Wait, is that her? In the land of the Narukami. Or is that someone else? Centuries pass without change. Is that the Shogun? Deep in the heart of the city stands the lofty abode of the Raiden Shogun. Or is she just telling the story about her? She looks down upon her realm. Oh, oh this is world. this is there she and is. The world mired in impermanence. Dude, the music, and the angles. Morning, she rules over the transients. It just looks trivial yearning. What, what is this place? They vanish like a mist, but the Shogun pursues. Is she just... Is she meditating? An unperturbed eternity. Dude, this place looks dope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only through eternity are you closest to the Is she principles. pulling the sword out of her... Breasticles? Ma'am? Wait, now she's using a spear. But she had a sword. Is, eternal. is she another one that changes her, her stances? And she has a ring behind her with this eye. She like the 
the almighty sees everything kind of woman. Fantasy can only survive with an underlying reality. Wait. Is this like her past self and reality previous self? Is the stillness buried deep beneath the illusion? This is eternity. To oblivion. Dude, she Okay, I feel like she she's gonna be a very powerful character. I feel like she's the powerful character. Okay, there's a there's a lot of imagery here in the video that's very interesting. We'll go back and take a look. But man. Wait, she just starts flying and huh? Is that part of her ability? Is that part of her abilities or or was it just for show for the video? Oh, it's the bird from the beginning of the video that the other lady sent. Waking world, you seem woven from the stuff of dreams. Huh? Are they exchanging messages? Oh, she'll fade away. Wait, 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 okay, there's a lot going on here, a lot. First of all, this place, this place looks amazing. Is she like meditating here? Because man, I would meditate here as well, even though it looks uh, a little bit gloomy and dark, but I love the vibe, I love the atmosphere. Is she like going through something in her mind, like she's tormented and, and, yeah. and also here, and she just opens up this... Okay, d d does she cut through time and dimension? Is this another dimension that she was uh, here inside? Like an inner type of dimension in her mind? Where she, she's just away from everyone and she's like, okay, let me be alone with my thoughts. And then she just shows up and she's like, okay, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Let me pull out my sword from my boobs. <laughs> okay, so, so she uses a, a, a spear from the looks of it normally. And she attacks people, and then, okay, okay, she summons this eye lightning thingy. Lightning is eternal, the world is but shadow. And the previous character was talking about something about eternity as well for the Shogun. Is she like trying to pursue eternity or something? Interesting, interesting, and then, then she has an eye appear above shadow. her head. And then it gets charged up as she attacks, what is it like? The more you attack, the more it gets charged up, and then you, whoa, you unleash a powerful attack and you destroy everything. And I believe her, her biggest attack was over here or something, where she pulls out the sword from her booba and she. Dude, I love how the cuts that the sword makes are like it's like it's opening up the time, and there's a different dimension you can kind of see through it. Okay, okay. And what is this imagery with, with her and someone else? Is this her past self and her future self? Or is it perhaps a twin and this is an imposter? Is, uh, is there two of them? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But man, she looks very powerful. First of all, her design tops top tier. Her attacks dude, crazy. If you, if you tell me that she's not powerful, uh, I'm, I'm going to be like, no. Please, no, I'm not playing this game anymore. No. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh, this is a long name. San Gonomiya Kokomi. A thousand waves under the moon. The right. Sea is teeming with creatures, all fighting to survive. When a mighty predator approaches, weaker fish seek shelter. Okay, she for sure uses water as her abilities. She looks so beautiful. Wait, can she? Is she a fish? Does she swim around freely in the water? What is up with her? But she, she looks very. She's just dancing in the air. Hello. First rebuild. Wait, did she just summon a jellyfish? And she just hits them with water as well. Okay, so she has the same circular donut type of weapon as um someone else. This is gorgeous. Thinking of that moment makes me cherish the precious light I see now. Yo. Also the music again. 
so good. Wait, now she has like a, a scarf of water around her. And what does that do? Does it enhance her attacks or something? She just bounces off of those slimes like it's nothing. This fish gathered to overcome larger foes. What that's me must unite to survive. And Aww. I must lead them to new open waters. But He's that, so pretty. Her design looks looks so unique, like nothing we've seen so far. Okay, so she she attacks with uh, water again. She has the same type of uh, weapon as um, the lawyer girl, I think. So she just uses water normally and then she summoned a jellyfish over here, I think. Yeah, here it is. A jellyfish. And then at the end here she, she got like a, a water scarf or something and there's some bubbles going on. So I'm not seeing nothing too major. Is she gonna be like a, a support type of character as well? Someone that buffs you? Hmm, I don't know. But she she looks very pretty and again her design is like nothing really we've seen so far. I'm okay, okay. And the music once again. I'm so impressed by the music for each of these demos. And also, can I say something before we move on to the next? I think we're about halfway done. But the progression, the quality... The, the, the jump in quality from the very first demo we saw to up until now has been like mind-blowing. The visuals and everything. Oh my god. Next up. Thoma Blazing Defense. The way I see it, housekeeping Wait, is it's the guy cleaning, from the mending, Noble Ladies demo. Wait, cleaning I and cooking? Originally. I took a boat all the way here from Mondstadt. These humans are definitely more particular about etiquette than Mondstatters. Oh, On so he's though, an, if you he's a foreigner. Opinion, you may have to coax it out of her. She's so polite, she doesn't always speak her mind. Oh, and he's petting the doggos. Focused on other people's weaknesses. Can we pet the dogs? Weaknesses pretty easily. And another pol polar muser. I, I'm get, uh, having a feeling that uh, they, they love their pole arms. I think we've seen 90% pole arms. Okay, maybe not that many. And he uses fire. Okay, okay. He got like a shield around him. And now... Was that an extra shield? An extra layer of shielding he got? Hey, He's cute. For a nice meal sometime? My treat, of course. Oh my god, he's such a gentleman. Wait, he, he cooks, he cleans, he pets the dogs. Husband material. Um, uh, can you hit me up, my guy? Wait, this the, the scene over here with the doggies was so cute. Can we pet the dogs in the game? Please say yes. If we can't pet the dogs in the game, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed. Please tell me we can pet the doggos. Okay, okay, so he uses a, a spear. He just attacks people. Yes, yes, and then there was um, an attack over here that made the shield. Okay, so he just kicked the guy and, and suddenly he has a shield around him. Supporting fire. And then supporting fire and another thing he kind of like a shield around him. Double shield. So I assume he's gonna be a support character as well. If he is providing shields and I mean he said it himself. He said it's supporting fire. So um, yeah, but uh, it looks really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, next up, uh, Goro, the ever victorious pointy-eared general. Pointy-eared? The, the music. The seizing victory in battle. He has fluffy the ears. The meaning of battle and employing the right tactics to generate momentum, making your forces unstoppable. Wait, so okay. With momentum on our side and close camaraderie. Got the ear wiggle. <laughs> the ear wiggle. Wait, okay, he's another archer. General Goro of the Watatsumi Island Resistance, ready and waiting. Okay, so he's a. Oh my God, the fluffy ears and the tail. I want a pet. I want a pet. Okay, so he uses a bow as well. And there was like a little doggy thingy next to him, like a companion. Wait, what is this? He summoned a flag. It's like a paw thingy. Wait, do the do the posies they lit up? They light up. Everyone on me! Now he summons the little guy. Oh, it's so cute! Thank you for your guidance. This is a victory that belongs to the both of us. Okay, okay, they showed him with another character, and there was nothing really 
flashy about his attack, so I assume he provides maybe like buffs. Wait, so when he uses the, the thingy here, there's like one paw thingy glowing more than the others. Is this like, uh, depending on uh, how many characters you have, the more of these activate and the more like buffs you get or something like that? Is what I would assume. And now, oh, oh wait, I think I'm onto something now. The other guy appeared and there's two. Okay, okay, so I think that's it. So he definitely feels like uh, he's gonna be a support type of buff character. And then he summons the little companion here in the end. Oh, it's so cute! I want the... I want the... Uh, plushie. Please, tell me there are plushies available. Please. Right, it was so cute! Arataki Ito. Make way for the one and only. Okay, I love the play on words going on here. Oni, like a demon. Is he a demon? I would assume so. The music... Oh my god. Wait, oh, it's a on. demon! The vision hunt decree is over! It looks hot. Um. Okay, start at the top. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh um. My beautiful vision. I know you're up there. Oh, yeah. did, did you call me beautiful? Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> He's smiling at me. Oh, I'm flushing. I'm. No, this is not. Oh, do, do, do I? Oh, hoo, hoo. my bad. My bad. I wanted to, to flush, not uh, not uh, do, do, do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. We, we're going back. Over. <laughs> the music, though, again. He looks so cool. Vision, he looks so badass. What is this big Arataki weapon? Ito, the Supreme, the Dude. Oh my god. Time. Ah! Oh, oh, sorry about that. He looks so hot. 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 I'm hot. I'm sweating. My armpits are sweating. Wait, did, did, was that a little bull? Did he just throw a bull at them? And the Oni mask. Yo, this is so cool. Run away. This is so cool. Wait, Kujo Sara? I think we saw a character named that way. I want some of this, please. I mean, yes. And he swings around a massive weapon like it's nothing. Dude. Oh my god, he looks so strong. Uh, oh, how nice of you to join us, General Cujo. Are you here to make me beg for mercy too? I would beg for mercy, I mean what? Surrender your vision now. Are they enemies? <laughs> Oh, but what General, is this vision? The Arataki gang now, I can show you what dreams are made of. <laughs> I, I'll join me, me, me. I oh, when I get my vision back, I'm gonna show her. Don't be angry. Boss, looks like it ain't up here. Don't be uh, angry now. I'm sorry, what? Uh, boss, I think this might be yours. Oh, is Wait, this I'm the here. thing that indicates w what, what powers they have? Uh, hey, you better wipe that smirk off your face. Okay, I'm coming up there. <laughs> He looks so goofy and fun and strong. Right and he's this. Just give me a moment. I need to look at this beautiful image just for a moment. Yes. Uh, would you like to have my children? Uh, um, have, have my ovaries, please? I mean, okay, I apologize. I apologize. I'm normal, I swear. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. He has this big ass weapon. What is that like? A sword? A massive uh, great sword or something? Wait, okay, so here he attacks with a normal, well, still a big sword. And he just slashes. Oh my god, he looks so cool when he's doing that. And then, then he just throws a bull at the guy. <laughs> oh my god. This bull looks so cute though, wait, 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 it's little angry face. Wait, can we get a better picture? I think over here. <laughs> it looks so cute! I want a plushie, now. I want like 50 plushies of, of everything. <laughs> oh my god, his face. <laughs> but the bull looks so adorable. Okay, I guess that's like his little companion. 
and then he attacks and he gets like this big oni mask on his back is that like uh kind of like the the the, the shogun girl when something was charging up on her back and then when it's all charged up, it unleashes your ultimate power or something. Now his weapon is gonna transform into this big one. And he starts smacking them like there's no tomorrow. The mask is still here. Wait, something's happening to the mask, but I can't see. Oh wait, no, the mask is used up. Oh! So does he use up the mask to do these fast attacks? Man, the, the range of these attacks are so big. And I, I'm not really seeing any specific element. Is he like an earth type guy as well? Like the other guys is what I, I would assume if they are earth. And I assume they have some beef with, with this girl over here. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, I think I'm sold. I'm sold on the game. Yes. Yun Jin, the true meaning of opera. An opera singer, perhaps? Or something? Performer? My name is Yun Jin such a pleasure to finally meet you and i'd be honored to have you attend a performance sometime perform oh she's pretty the yunhan opera troupe has been under my leadership for quite some time i love now. the the gothic like kind of vibe opera, just as opera reflects life wait is this like a love, traditional what I will be pursuing for the rest chinese of my life. opera or something many of li yue's legends are centered around stories of gods and the adepti so most operas focus on the supernatural too, but in this age of humanity, I would rather like to tell stories about ordinary. I assume people. this is gonna be like Chinese oh, opera again, from the way she moves, spirit, hoping to enhance my performance in stage combat and her I'm outfit as well. To master the techniques of Another spear user. I've grasped the basics now. I dare say you better be careful when we're sparring together in the future. Oh, we'll be careful. Without one of her attacks. Oh, and now some flags appear on her back. Strike is one. Wait, and there's more flags happening. Oh, wait, okay, so I do think this is Chinese opera from the sound of it and also the things, the way she was dancing with her hands, she looked so elegant. Okay, so she uses a pole arm, and there were two type of flag attacks I think we saw. Some flags just suddenly appear, and then, then here in the end some other type of flags as well. So again, nothing too flashy, I believe she's gonna be a support, a buff type of character as well. But I really love her design. She looks really cute, really pretty. Okay, next up... Uh, Shen... He... Crane in the wild. Okay, okay. I can't read anymore. Oh, I can't get over how beautiful... <laughs> Who is this? Is that an enemy? Halt! Wait, is that the, the character? Is that a different character? This explains all the demonic activity. It was all you're doing. Demonic activity? Oh, it summoned more of its friends. Watch out! Wait, what is this? Who are you? Ryo? More ice users? Oh my gosh, she looks. Demons are masters of deception. Never let down your guard. Hey, mommy! <gasps> Ma'am, you look gorgeous. Another spear user. How many spear users are there? Hello. I think like 50% of the characters we have seen have been spear users. Wait, she... Unleash! Yes, unleash all your powers. Dude, she looks so elegant and cool. Transfiguration. Oh my god. Oh no, this, this guy is coming back to life. Oh no, it summoned even more powerful, powerful enemies. Mind Show him who's, purged, who's the boss. Mind be purged. Cryo incarnate. Wait, she uses some sort of seals as her abilities. Is she like an exorcist type of character or something? And what are these red threads about? 
And she has like a like an avatar like the the guy was saying earlier with her this activity is an omen of impending disaster perhaps master was right master thank you for rendering your assistance i see you're also an adept exorcist oh she's so an it okay quite familiar so i'm wondering uh, i am shen he i roam these chen he worry about me oh, uh, oh she sounds so badass uh, your temperature uh, seems unusually high are you all right oh uh, Oh, my popsicle! I almost forgot! Uh, wait... Shen -huh? Wait, so you're my... You're? You're my auntie? Wait, auntie? Like auntie auntie? Like related auntie? Actual auntie? His mother's or father's sister auntie? <gasps> the plot thickens? Wait, okay, let's take a look. So she's an exorcist, which explains the seals she's using. But there are some interesting imagery here with the, with some threads and everything. Right, so she uses a pole arm, and there are some red ropes on her as well. Is this like uh, to seal away some evil powers or something, dude? I love these like avatars of her. Looks so cool, and they I attack wish. as well. Unleash. Okay, so she unleashes something. <laughs> and we see a bunch of seals and stuff. More seals. I guess this is her uh, her ultimate ability and then she summons these avatars. Or is it just one or multiple? And then they attack people. She looks so cool. Can you be my auntie or or no? Can you can um can I be the 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 kids auntie? Or uncle, I would be anything you want me to be, please. <laughs> what am I saying? She she's hot. If she's using uh, ice elements, then why is she so so so, so hot? I can't talk anymore. <laughs> but damn. Okay, okay. An exorcist lady. Let's see. Let's see. Next up, Yae Miko. Anecdote of a divine Kitsune Guji. Ooh, are we getting a foxy girl? Divine. Wait, is this a shrine? Reborn as Guji Yai. Reborn. Leading shrine maidens in sacred matters. Wait, so she's a Sipping shrine maiden. And kneeling in solemn meditation. So that's the girl from and the making appearances to listen to shrine visitors from the Enough. shogun's huh, trailer. This won't do. We're making a light novel here, not a dry documentary. Huh? Wait. And honestly. Do you really think I lead such a boring existence? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> she no, looks so sassy. Me. That's chief editor to you. Ah, uh, yes, chief editor. And she has fluffy ears. Are those ears? Pure imagination. For example, I must say this is quite the cunning trap. Wait, so she's a shrine maiden, but she also writes novels? Or, or approves them or something. Oh, she uses lightning as well. Okay, it looks like all of the Shogun's girls use lightning. I see, I see. <gasps> Is that like a little fox thing that was flying around? Yo, she looks so sassy and, and playful. Like she's gonna step on you, make fun of you, and you'll enjoy every second of it. I know I will. I mean, what? Yes. And she uses a shrine thingy as her weapon? But have I walked into or as, as or some of her abilities? Walked into mine. Yeah, I love the little fox animation. Wait! That was such a cool animation! Oh my god. Oh, the tails! Dude, she looks badass. Yeah, send out the fox. Send it out. Dude, there, there's so much going on. I would as well. Exercise me. <laughs> that would be no fun. Is that what she's gonna say? You weren't ready to return to the cycle. So first, let me show you what a cruel world this can be. Yo, she's evil. It's so graphic. You'd never really do something like that, would you? <laughs> oh, not at all. No, no. Splendid. When the reader starts asking that question, you know you've written a good one. 
Okay, okay, wait, so she's an actual shrine maiden, but she writes novels as well. So she just kind of shoots out lightning, I think. And then she just appears out of nowhere and those fox thingies show up. Is that one of her abilities? Oh, and they attack people. Okay, okay. So those like fox pillar stuff, she, she puts them down and then they attack people. But then she attacks them as well. And then I believe what we saw here, the massive attack was her ultimate ability. Dude, she looks so smug and evil. A sight to behold. She says as she's electrifying you, electrocuting you. Oh my god. I want her. I want her. She, man, so smug. <laughs> so smug. Okay, moving on. Next up. Kami Sato. Wait, didn't we have Kamisato someone already? Ayato. And that girl was someone's auntie, so I guess we, we do see some um, relatives here in the game. Bottomless Swirls in the Forest. That's an intriguing name. Let's take a look. Do not expose your identities and wait for the signal before you act. I haven't seen yes, him sir. yet, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. With more fireworks and Grand stuff. Festivals like this monopolize the Tenryo Commission's resources. Oh, it's the ninja girl. Your timing is impeccable. <laughs> Pity you were all they sent. Um, uh. Let's go for a stroll. Uh, we wish to discuss cooperation with the Yashiro Commission. I'm feeling a stuff. Suggestion. The Fatui oh, a sword? To update their intelligence concerning me. Ah, but of course. That would require one of you to return in one piece. So badass! And elegant at the same time. Holy! Okay. okay. Oh my god, I love his attacks. The way he returns the sword back, he, the way he sheets it back. Wait, now he's attacking and there's water coming out, so are his attacks like um, infused with water attacks? You underestimate your foe. <laughs> if assassinating me was that simple, oh, I so bad. rival clans who would have had an easier time over the years. Okay, okay, show him. <laughs> show him. Kamisato Art. Sui! Wait, what happened? He just summoned a, a large puddle of, of water that is, is doing something. I assume it attacks. And there's some flowers. Are they exploding? He looks so elegant and pretty and his attacks are so elegant and pretty as well. My lord. I do not keep the Shumatsuban for the trivial matter of dealing with assassins. Oh, trivial? So, Wait. What's the situation? Uh, the operation went smoothly. The resistance platoon is hidden near Tenshikaku. Was the other the noble lady? Are they related? Do they have the same name? Forgive me, sir, but oh, is that the ninja girl? Taking this level of risk, it seems out of character. Oh, he likes say, risk. I'm doing a small favor for my sister. Sister. Okay, I assume that that was his sister then. Okay, okay, right. So he uses a sword and, and then here he was attacking and there was uh, water coming out of the attack. So I assume that's one of his abilities. Yo, those attacks are so fast. Hello? So I guess they get uh, infused with uh, his water abilities and then in the end he summons this field of water that would probably attack unless it buffs, but he seems like an attack kind of character. Man, uh, okay, um, 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 uh, would you like to have my child? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, yes, anyways, yes, but I'm sold, sold, I'm playing the game, downloading it right now as we speak, okay, next up, I need him, I need him, next up we have a Yelan, a shadow in the rain. Leaving the city? It's a real jungle out there. They say there's this group of guys now who always come out of the music just it drowns out the cries for help and Is that the... away any sign of a struggle. Hmm. That all sounds perfect. I love me some smug women. 
You sure have nerves of steel, ma'am. She's gorgeous. And what is this like jazz kind of music? Help! Help! Oh, is she gonna show up now? <gasps> I figured. Well, the waiting game is over. Yo. Oh, she uses a bow. Okay, okay. I love the music. I'm vibing with it so hard. And oh my god, her design. Step on me, please. Uh, I mean, what? I will lick your shoes clean. I mean, what? <gasps> Wait, she's... She's Naruto running all over the place. And she's tying them up? God, I wish that was me. I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> she looks so smug. And she's doing that. I guess she's a badass kind of important character. <laughs> oh, I wish that was me. And I mean, yes. To run. Yes. What can I say? Yo. She Ooh. Okay, so she uses water attacks as well, and and, and she ties people up. Yes, please. Oh, now she shoots out multiple arrows. Do you shoot out from the, the dice? Or no, there was something above her head that was shooting them out. I surrender! Please, let me go! You'll never see me again! I wish that so was me. You're afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is too little, too late. This dude is getting all the fan service. No, He's getting tied up. Who gave you away? He's I'll getting stepped you. on. No, I I'll take you to them myself. <laughs> Smart decision. Get up. Uh, uh please. Chop, please. Chop. Let's go and pay your friends. <laughs> Yo, I love her. Let's go, girl. Slay. Slay. Okay, so she uses a bow. I, I get distracted by... Um, I keep getting distracted by the amazing design of the characters. Yes, the, the assets. The assets uh, that they have. <laughs> yes. Okay, and she has, what is this, like, bracelet glowing on her? I think she was tying them up with the bracelet over here. Right now she's gonna start running. And yeah, her bracelet is glowing and she's tying them up with it. Yo, okay, okay, okay. And then, she, man, man. And then over here, there was this big attack that she did. She just rolls a die and then attacks everyone and she's... She's just vibing in the middle of everything. And then as she attacks, there's there's more attacks coming out. Order attacks from the thing. She looks strong. She looks like a very badass lady. A beautiful, beautiful assets. Yes. Next up. Cookie Shinobu. Jack of all trades. <laughs> but a master of none. This is me. I'm I'm kidding. Okay. Anyways. Yo. I wear a mask because I don't want to be recognized by anybody. I'm Kuki oh. Shinobu, deputy leader of the Arataki gang. My primary responsibilities are deputy to leader. Wait, Arataki? Was that the the demon guy? Out the gang from the police station. Being in the gang means having lots of free time. I often finish reading a whole book or even pass a certificate exam before I even realize it. She looks so you cool. You ever find yourself in a pinch. I can help you out. Mentor of of something. Wait, she uses a sword. Were those daggers that she shot out? Oh, she uses lightning as well. She has like a lightning ring around her that attacks people. Her design though. Oh, and now she shoots out lightning from the ground. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Shinobu, time to roll. Yeah, okay, so that I guess that was the demon guy. So she's a, a deputy leader of, of the gang? Her design, oh, okay, so she uses a sword and she attacks people. And were those daggers that were shooting out over here or something? Yeah, it, it looks like it. And then she has this attack that, you know, the, the lightning swirly thing around her. And then this massive attack over here. Her design, though, I really love the mask and her whole vibe, the dark aesthetic, and her hair. 
really cool. All of the designs, all of the designs so far have been so good. Like, so, so good. Okay, let's see. Who next? Shika Noin Hazo. Cyclone of Investigation. The name okay. Shika Noin Hazo. Sharpest and most successful detective of the Tenryo Commission. Oh, it's a detective. detective okay. spends too much time investigating extramarital affairs and tracking down runaway pets. And oh, it pets. goes without saying that fighting thugs and fighting things isn't my kind of work. A true detective uses their smarts to outwit oh. criminals at every single turn. You keep following the clues until you find the culprit. And you don't stop until every last piece of the puzzle is in place. Okay, he's a big brain kind of character. Yes. <sighs> hey, what is that weapon he was wielding? To violence at the very last second, as if that'll somehow solve their problems. Wait, he just punches and kicks people? Yo. I think that's very unique. We haven't seen that so far. There's like something around his fist, like an aura. Is that his... Does he use air, like wind attacks as well? That was a, a massive kick. Is that One Punch Man? <laughs> There's something next to him that charges up. I assume it does more damage as it gets more charged up. <laughs> Doggies! Please tell me we can pet Let's the dogs. Just hope the rain hasn't washed all the clues away. So he just punches people. And, and then there is something next to him that, that charges up. This thing. One, two, three, four. And then he giga punches. <laughs> Or, or so I assume. And then he jumps up in the air and, and kicks. That's a massive kick. Holy the area of that. I assume that's his, his strongest ability. It looks like he'll be very fun to play. Like just going around punching people. <laughs> right. Who else? Cole? Sprout in the thicket. Trainee Forest oh. Ranger Cole reporting for duty. Oh, the music. Yo, this is a vibe. Let's go. She's cute! And I love what they're doing with the, the video so far. Oh, another bow user. The music is so cute and she is so cute as well. I can't get over it. Oh, and, and his little mushroom thingy, it looks adorable. Why are you fighting it? Oh, now she shoots out a, a boomerang kind of thing. And then, and then a little companion. It, and it shoots out some green attacks. I don't think we've seen anyone that has these abilities. Is this like nature type of uh, uh, grass? Plants, anyway, abilities, or something. Amber? Right? Who's Amber? Okay, so she's a bow user. She 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 goes pew pew, and then she shoots out the boomerang. It was over here somewhere. So she shoots out the boomerang, and then she summons her companion. That just attacks stuff. So I assume this is a new element that we haven't seen so far. I wonder why we, we've gone through so many characters, and and now is the first time we see someone that has abilities like that. Okay, let's take a look at the the nutty plant patrol. Okay, more plant the stuff. Sweetwater mushroom has a brown conical cap and a white body. <gasps> Fluffy Consuming ears. May induce delirium. Uh, bro. Oh, beautiful mushroom maiden. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are these guys? mushrooms proliferate very um... rapidly during the rainy season. What are these guys eating? Much Can like I have some? I mean, what? Fungi? <laughs> they look so Perhaps cute! These a little too fast. Oh, the music! Oh my god. Ah, it's so good. It hit a spot in me. I don't know which spot. Okay, he's, he's a bow user as well. An archer. What is this ball now? Is this an ability? Okay, some flowers. One with the forest. Okay, so I guess these characters have like plant-like abilities. Oh, wait, was the was the little dude crying? I wonder what's causing it. Could it be a new genetic mutation, or maybe it's the rain agitating? The fluffy ears, though, and the tail. 
No, your fur is gonna get wet. Uh oh, what is this? A massive shroom. Let's let's what? Let's sniff that in the butt? Huh? <laughs> that that sounded wrong. The music though, I can't get over the music. That's a lot of arrows. That's a lot of arrows. Wait, did he get um uh, did so he get infused reason. with mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. He got infused with some um, mushrooms. Has a slightly bitter taste and a distinctive scent. Toxin is um, mild but alters the perception of one's surroundings. Um uh, don't eat we weird mushrooms out there, kids. Stay safe. If All you right. find a weird mushroom I'll add that to the next edition of a field guide to in the forest, uh stay away. Okay, wait, so he uses a bow, and there there was this bow thingy that he throws at them. Is that like his um, major ability? And then there were a lot of arrows that he suddenly shot out over Let's here. Oh, I guess this is his massive ability. There's so many arrows. And then the other thing, the bow thingy is something else. Okay, so this is the shroom guy. Got it. Nice. Fluffy ears, though. Cool. <laughs> okay, next up... Uh, Dory from Finding Nemo? Finding Dory? Did I find Dory? <laughs> Thank you for your generous purchase. Dory became a vendor. Dory works in customer su service. Welcome to Dory's Divine Bazaar. Bazaar. You need with service you can rely on. Oh, like she's cute. Stay dry. See a sumter beast? No problem. With enough more Wait, was she using a slime to chill on? Even take on the academia. Okay, I guess she's like a, a professional scammer. Wait, is she attacking with the slime? <laughs> Yo, in the music! Hey, hey, let's go! Oh my god, the slime, little slime genie! This is so cute and ridiculous! Shazam! And she uses a lamp to attack people! <laughs> Yo! The little slime. Oh, oh, is it getting faster? It's getting faster. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, my guy, you're gonna die soon. She's charging up. You're dying soon. <laughs> oh my god, this is so chaotic. <laughs> this is so chaotic. Okay, so she, she uses a slime to attack. And she just uses a lamp to attack with lightning. Is there an, was there another ability? Or was that it? Oh wait! She just summons her lamp and her slime. And then they, they do something. They seem connected to you, so I guess that's buffing you. Providing you with buffs or something. While you're smacking people around. <laughs> She's just standing there menacingly T-posing, asserting dominance. <laughs> okay, okay. But she is really cute though. Love, love the vibe. Okay, next up. Uh, Candace. Candace? Candy is not fit in your mouth. I'm, I'm sorry. Shield of sword of sworn protection. Shield. I assume she's gonna use a shield then. If she is the shield of protection. Yo, this is a desert area. We haven't seen that before. And the previous Welcome characters were like in a far. rainforest. <sighs> I'd really love to look into your future with my amber eye if I could. <laughs> Yo, her design? She looks like a goddess. Sleep soundly and know that I am watching over you. Oh, she has a shield. Oh my god, and the music once again. Oh, it's hitting a spot. Did she just throw her spear at the poor guy? Do your worst. And she smacked him with a shield. Wait, there was water coming out. So does she use water abilities with that shield? A shield is not enough to protect the most oh. important things. What else? That's why I must also wield a spear. Okay, that's understandable. Makes sense. Hear my prayer. Wait, now her attacks, they look like they, she's attacking with a water. Did she infuse her attacks? Okay, okay, so she wields a spear and then she smacks people with a shield as well. And then there's this thing here that she kind of hits them around with the shield and, and the spear. And then she does something here. 
and, and there's there was like a water gush sound I assume when you do that then your attacks become uh, with uh, the water element infused okay okay I see but man her design wait her eyes over here in the beginning she looks she looks like a goddess she's so beautiful okay okay I'm liking what I'm seeing next up uh, we have uh, Sino, 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 Sai, Si, Sai, Si, I don't know. Council of Condemnation. A sand's devour. The voice and the music. Oh my god. <gasps> Pete, Pete. life and death. Whatever is sown will be reaped. Yo, his design is cool. He looks like a Anubis. Like a jackal? Judgment will come swiftly. Yo. Every soul will be weighed. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, another spear user. How many have there been so far? I feel like there's a lot of spears and bows in this game. Ah, oh, the music though. Yo, he looks so badass. Oh, and he uses lightning as well. Damn, that was cool. I vow to uphold the rules and punish evil. Sheesh. No matter how arduous this path may be, I will follow its course to the end. This guy, though, he looks jacked as fuck. Through Can you take him on? Yo, and he puts the mask on. And he starts... He has like claws. Wait, is he attacking them with lightning again? Dude. He looks so cool. And the music, I can't get over the mu Whoa, Holy, what was that? Is, was that like his? Until one day. Humanity stands blameless, purged of its transgressions. The voice, though. The voice actor did an absolutely amazing job. Holy. Okay, so another spear user. And there was uh, an attack here where he uses... Oh, over here. He uses um, lightning. And then over here, he, he turns the mask on and suddenly he has claws. And he just starts punching people. This looks so cool. I want to punch people like that. Wait, he just grabs them. And then he just throws something at them. Was that a spear or something? He looks very cool. Very, very cool. I'm loving the, the aesthetic of these, these characters. Okay, let's take a look. Who else? Nilo? Nilu? Dance of the Delicate Lotus. Oh, are we going to have a dancer? Another performer? Nilu? Will you teach me the dance you came up with in the desert? <laughs> Slow oh. down. First, close your eyes and relax okay. your body. We do have a dancer. Then, picture an oasis bathed in starlight. She's pretty. Now imagine that you are the water. Clear and bright. Just like jelly. Yo, this looks gorgeous. To the world, you're invisible. It never stops to notice you. Oh my, so this looks so up, magical. You leap and twirl, and you show them through dance. Wait, okay, so she uses water attacks as well. And a sword? Here. She's just dancing around with a sword, is that it? Yep, yep. She looks so elegant when she's doing that, hello? Oh, the poor mushroom is getting smacked to death. Captivating dance is like water about to boil. Why Yo. Grow into a chorus of cheers. It looks so I elegant and gorgeous. You have to make a big splash. Dance with the wave. <gasps> Wait, she she some she made a whole lotus out of water. Another one. Holy! 
Killing enemies with style. That's what she's doing. Pretty amazing, huh? Nilu? She's playing around with her enemies. Performance went? Uh, sure Nilu. 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 Practicing with it in the desert. Oh, I'll work something out. <laughs> okay, okay. So she uses a sword and, and there's a bunch of water attacks happening around. So she attacks and there's water and then there's the massive lotus. Oh wait, there's water swirling around her now. And then the big lotus, I assume, is the big attack she does. Damn. Imagine dying to this. I would gladly do so. <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? And again, you can really tell how much the quality of these character trailers have evolved over the, the years. It's been years already, so... So yeah, when what we started from and, and now we're here. I'm really glad we started from the oldest character demo and not the earliest one, because if I made that mistake, I would have probably been so disappointed by the time we reached the oldest one. Well, no, they were still really good. They were still really impressive, but you can really tell how much they've worked to improve the quality. Okay, let's see. Who do we have next? Nahida? Boundless Bliss. What is this? What are these thingies? They look cute. Oh my god, she looks so adorable! Oh, is she playing hide and seek with them? What are these things? <laughs> this is so cute! Okay, she looks adorable! Wait, her attacks are so cute! Wait, is that, oh, that... that's an attack! <laughs> this is so cute! Oh my god, they're throwing her up in the air! Wait, what's going on? Why are you under... under the water? What's happening? And now you're in the desert? Hello? What's going on? Is she dreaming? Are those some, some dreams happening? <laughs> this looks crazy! Does she have something to do with dreams? Did she just summon a whole... What is this? Looks like a temple. Okay, she looks like the definition of um, one with nature and uh, nature is one with me. <laughs> this is the vibes I'm getting. She's like bringing everyone together, all the creatures, the, the flowers, uh, the animals. Wait, what's happening? Oh, they caught her. Okay, okay. And she has this adorable little swing. Wait, why is everything turning dark? What's going on? Does she have a sad story? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Something bad happens to her. No. No, wait. What's going on? Is that how they... They ended the video? I need answers right now. She looked so cheerful and happy and then all of a sudden everything went dark. What's going on? Okay, okay. Let's take a look. So she... I assume she uses the nature element or whatever it's called as well. I guess that's one of her abilities. She just uses like... Uh, she makes a camera with her hands and then marks them with flower thingies. And then previously she was like jumping and... Uh, and attacking them with flowers or whatever. This looks so cute. And then she does the camera thing and then over here in the end she, she summons this whole... What is that? Like a temple? Like a chapel? But I didn't see it doing anything. So is it gonna be like um, providing buffs in this space or something? But she looks adorable. Her attacks are so cute. But I, I need answers. What is this here in the end? Why is she sad? Why is everything all dark? And then this scenery over here, with all the crazy stuff happening. Was she in like some sort of dream world? And then she woke up from the dream and it was all, oh no, <laughs> I need answers. Okay, next up, we have Layla, Radiant Star Trail. 
Oh, this place looks beautiful. Even when we're not looking up at the stars, why does she sound so here. sleepy? Oh, watching over us. Okay, I guess she is sleepy, that's why. But she's beautiful. <laughs> Wait, stars. Is she gonna be another oh, astrologist or something? Why do I have to write so many papers? Why? Oh? Papers? Is she a student? Oh, she uses a sword. Okay, okay. I love her design though. Her hair? Wait, did she just go to sleep? She summoned the shield and she went to sleep and she's like, yeah, not now. Wait, does the shield attack the enemies? That's convenient. And then another disco ball of ice. Well, not a disco ball, but um, the thingy that you use to, to put babies to sleep. I don't know what it's what called. Me? Sleepwalking, of course. <laughs> Wait, she's sleepwalking. Oh no, the, this girl needs some sleep. Why does everyone need sleep over here? Okay, so she uses a sword and she, she uses ice attacks, obviously. And then she makes this shield and she, she just goes, time to nap nap, time to sleep. And then she summons this thing over here that attacks enemies, I assume. And she looks cool. Really love her design. The, the ponytails. Nice. Okay. And who do we have next? Uh, a wanderer of solitude, past and present. Okay, a lonely wanderer. Again, some bird imagery. <sighs> oh no, he got annoyed at the bird. He looks like a brat type of character. I haven't seen him yet, but this is the vibe he's getting me. Wait, he let, he let the bird... Chill there. Hey, you there. Okay. We heard there's an inn near here. Gonna need you to show us the way. <laughs> Where are these guys so hostile? Hello? Can they ask politely? Or is, she, is he just gonna ignore them? Move the music forth. again. Too it hasn't even kicked in, in, but. Asking me to be their chaperone. <laughs> is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Yo. You're funny, do you? You'll regret that! I think you will regret that. Sure I will. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the music! Hello? Wait, so he's flying in the air and, and using some attacks. I, I guess he's using air attacks as well. Wind attacks, okay, okay. Wait, is he flying up? And then attacking more? Is that like a mini black hole he summons? Wait, is this a black hole? Wait, he can fly? Is that a helicopter? A drone? He looks powerful. He looks like an anime protagonist or antagonist. I look forward to that. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. Won't be there to see it. And he just steps on you with the black hole. What? Wait, you know what? This demo is giving me vibes of um the the, the Shogun girl. It had the same kind of energy. Very powerful. The music. Their vibe as well. You were looking for trouble. No one to blame but yourselves. Yeah, and you shouldn't mess with him. No, the poor bird. Uh, why did you? Why did you shove the bird away? I suggest you find your own way. Okay, but I really love the style of this video, how it starts off like a, an old movie kind of style. And then... Okay, wait, so he has a lot of different attacks from what I saw. So he just attacks them with uh, wind over here. And then he gets this circle thing behind him. And he, he he's flying in the air and he can attack them. And he summons a little black hole something and then some stuff shoots out over here. Over here, there's they were in different colors, like red, blue, and, and now these things shoot out. Like 
arrows, well not arrows, but something. And then this, and then in the end, he, he just steps on you. Bro just summons a black hole and steps on you. Okay, he looks, he looks like he, he has something going on. He, he, he looks kind of evil. Is he a good guy? Is he one of the bad guys? I don't know. He looks kind of evil. He has something, uh... I assume he has like a, a tragic backstory and now he's all edgy and acting like, oh, I'm an evil guy. Yes, but interesting, interesting. Uh, and the music for this demo, amazing. It really reminded me of the, the, the Shogun, like the vibe of the whole video. It, it was like very powerful and, and dark and edgy. And yeah. Next up, Farazan, Master of Ingenious Devices. No sense of respect. Uh oh academic research someone's angry some kind of bad topics don't just go in and out of that is this Hatsune Miku Madame Farozan's life started more than a hundred years ago <laughs> is this and another collab much round as some major but they got her name wrong okay maybe not what is it <laughs> you'd like to learn she more looks about? cute different forms of pressure based puzzle mechanisms the base layer design of elemental monuments she's a giga brain character as well from what it it looks like and she uses a bow as well. So many bow characters. Also, the music is such a vibe. Yo. Okay, does she use wind as well? Wind powers? Okay, okay. There's several different abilities I'm seeing here. I love her, how everyone is just defeating enemies with style. What did you say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try old? calling me Madam Farozan, and I'll see if I can pick that up. Yes, respect your elders, but old, oh, hello. You look like you look very young, ma'am. I mean, take that as a compliment, if you will. Okay, so she uses a bow, and there, there was, there was an interesting attack over here. It kind of sucked up the enemies in the air. So, so she, she shot out like a pyramid kind of thing, and then it, it sucked up the enemies. And then there is this thing over here that kind of stayed around. And it, does it like attack people? It releases some attacks or something, or is it another buff kind? Of character, I don't know, but uh, she looks cute. She looks very cute. Hatsune Miko, nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, and I think we're nearing the end soon. Hopefully, I think there's a couple of demos left. Yao, Yao, Purity of the Blossoming Asmanthus. Okay, let's take a look. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Oh, come on, let's get a move on. <gasps> Bunny. Boring. She's so cute. Wait, is an I actual bunny? More training after I've had a break. Okay, so she uses a spear. Auntie Cloud Retainer, Uncle Mountain Shaper. There are adepti everywhere in the U.S. I've met Aww. lots of them. If you encounter any difficulties outdoors, then let me help you. I want the bunny. I need a plushie right now. Please Whoa. tell me there's a plushie available. Okay, so she uses a spear, right? And then she summons her bunny. Wait, were those radishes? Wait, does it throw... <laughs> does it attack the enemies with radishes? Here, have, have your veg... Did you eat your vegetables? Eat them now. <laughs> I love how she was just running away. Such a big deal out of seeking the Adepti. There's like the everywhere, isn't there? Like the girl with the bombs, she was just running away. Wait, wait, wait. So she uses a spear and then she summons the bunny. And then what was this here in the end? She summoned her bunny again. By the way, there's more bunnies. There's there's a lot more bunnies, and she's just running away, and there are just 50 bunnies throwing radishes everywhere. And she's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> she looks cute, and the bunny looks adorable. Okay. And next up, well, we have uh, Al Alhai Thumb. The thing before you act. Were we 
Ah, uh, yes. Al Haytham told you he's a feeble scholar, did he? <laughs> Who is he? Well, that's a bold faced lie. He looks cool. Wait, it's the other guys so we've false seen. Modesty was just a facade to hide his true the Shrom dude. And the Anubis dude. He doesn't want others knowing his truth. They are gossiping. Oh, how strong is he? Stronger than you? Of course not. Oh? You know, I actually ran into him last week while I was in the desert looking for creative inspiration. He was going oh, there is this the guy? Runes anyway. Why didn't he travel with me? We could have split the cost. H how much do you bench, sir? Those muscles. Sheesh. I love his design, yo. Is he gonna start dancing now? <laughs> I don't know why I got this feeling. Must be the music. Okay, he uses a sword. Wait, does he use two swords? Or one sword? And now he's gonna kill them. And he teleports. And oh, holy, wait, what's going on? A lot of stuff is going on. A lot of green stuff. Is he a nature element as well? It's like, hmm, Frankly, have you been gossiping is, about me? You just don't want to mess with him. I oh my god, he's so hot. Speak by now. Ugh, and and he's so hot back. as well. All positive, actually. Surely you didn't drag me out just to play cards. He's cute. He's cute. <laughs> we didn't get that far yet. We were just debating how good you'd be in a fight. You and he's so hot. <laughs> Not at all. So you don't fight much? Yeah, right. With his temper? I don't need to fight. Is he a Giga Brain character as well? I only need to think. Yeah, Giga Brain. Everything is connected. Talk calculus to me. I mean, All what? All I have to do is find the weakest link. Deal with the causal factors. Dude, he's so badass. Tends to resolve itself. So cool. The process of elimination. Wait, he summons like this big. Yo, we need attacks for multiple stuff. He shoots out lasers. Oh my god, he's so cool. Dude. And he just walks away. Explosions happening in the back. And he just walks away. Essentially, more time on contemplation, less time on execution. Simple, isn't it? <sighs> Not really. Oh, really. I knew we shouldn't have brought this up with you. Dude, he's so hot. Um, Boss, this is good wine. I'll have the same, please. Um, 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 uh, um, um ma'am, uh, mister, not ma'am, uh, sir, um, are you looking for a maiden? If you're maidenless, I can help you out. Yeah. Mm? Ma'am, uh, sir, <laughs> why do they keep saying ma'am? <laughs> okay, so he uses a sword. There was a lot going on with his abilities. Okay, so he aims at targets and then he just teleports to them and punches them and, and attacks them. And then he attacks with sword stuff and he has some stuff flying next to him. Do they get uh, unleashed when he attacks or something? And then it was the giga attack over here that just summons a big like chamber and, and there's lasers shooting out from, from every, every thingy over here. Giga brain guy, indeed. Uh, he looks very strong and very um hot. I would gladly give him my ovaries to use as Christmas decorations. Sorry, I've already said that once. Uh, I need to come up with something else to say. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. I I'm installing the game right now. I mean, it's already finished installing. I'm about to start playing it as we speak. De ya de ya. Fiery lioness. Every mark knows the rules. That, that was probably wrong. From a wolf's jaws. Or Dihya? Dihya? Talks over. <sighs> Boring conversation anyway. Yo. Oh my god, that's one fiery lady. <laughs> Wait, she just punches people? Is she like the, the one punch man, the other dude we saw? <laughs> Dude, okay, uh, I wish that was me. POV, you're getting punched by her. Yes, please, thank you. And uh, the music as well. Her design is gorgeous. Keep your hands off our village. He looks very she, she looks very uh, strong. The green-eyed wolf answers to no one. Oh wait, she has a weapon as well, a big ass sword. 
She looks so badass. And she just punches people. No need to even use a sword to just punch them. Wait, she summoned something. Some fiery thing. Listen, I want to help you, but first you got to back down. Her design, her outfit. Boring conversation anyway. She's stunning. Punch him, queen. Oh my god, oh yes. And the music just hits. Let's go show him who's the who's the boss. She just goes in aura 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 mode. Did she just block a spear with her bear bear fists? We were just sparring. Oh, they're not bear. Right. She has some armor. Oh, is uh, the goddess lady from before? Please come with me. With the shield. Candace is in a good mood. You're off the hook. Remember what I told you. Oh. Final warning. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so she does uh, have a weapon. Even a wolf had better avoid lions. But they started off the Hunters. video with, with showing us her punches, which I assume is her uh, ultimate ability. So she, she just punches you with fire and you die. But then she does have a, a weapon that she attacks you with, a sword. And then she summons something, a fire thingy, here on the field, and then the fire punches. She just goes in, ora, 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 you die, die. <laughs> she is so badass. I want her. I want her. Her design is 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Okay. And up next, is this the final video we have? Ever since I was a kid. Why does he talk like this? Wait, wait. Mika Pl Plume of Navigation. I've wanted to become a cartographer and map out every corner of Tevat. Konnichiwa. It's only that I discovered the Knights of Favonius actually have that kind of role. Oh, Klee? She's super cheerful. Wait, he wants to make a I've map. I had to revise my maps on several occasions due to her experiments with dangerous weapons. Did she just blow stuff up and she was like, okay, there's no longer Mika, a mountain here. It's now a hill. Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company reporting in. Another spear user. I, th there's, th I think we saw 50 spear users so far. Wait, did he pull out a crossbow or something? Final warning. How many weapons does he use? A spear and a crossbow? Oh, and he attacks with ice as well. And, and, and now he opened the book. The rain is really coming down. Oh, he looks like a bird. To help everyone clean their boots. He looks like a burb, like a little burb. Okay, okay, but the way he talks though, wait. Ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Why does he sound like... Konnichiwa. My name's David Kuhn. <laughs> Why does he sound like the, the kid that goes, um, actually? <laughs> He's cool though. He's cool. He's cool. So he uses a pole arm and then he pulls out a, a crossbow right over here and he shoot. Did he shoot out ice with his crossbow? Oh wait, now he shoots out ice. And then there was something else. Let's keep going, team. He uses a book and then there's a feather or something happening. And it just it just stays next to him next to him. So there's nothing flashy going on. I assume he's gonna be a buff type of character as well. Uh but um he looks a lot like a bird. So many feathers, his hair, what is this? Like a, a tail coming out? Another feather? Oh, it's on his book. He looks like a bird boy. Was that everything? Oh yeah, we're going back all the way to the beginning. Man, this has been a, a, a ride. This has been a wild ride from the very first demo. I can really see that the quality has improved so much. So, so much. And there's some really amazing characters. I, honestly, I've been impressed by every character. They all look very interesting. They, they look like they have amazing abilities. It looks like everyone has um, a role to play. Some some uh, some of the characters look like more of a support kind of type. They either had shields or 
They provided healing or what I assume would be buffs, while others focused more on attacks and delivering heavy punches. And there's so many characters as well. How many demos was that? I think that was like 52. There's like 52 videos we just watched and I don't know if those are uh, all of them. But I think we saw some characters that didn't appear in any demos. I don't know if they are playable or not. If they had their own demos or maybe they haven't. But yeah, it looks really amazing. The music, the production quality has definitely skyrocketed since the beginning in terms of the whole the videos themselves. And the music for each video has been so unique and different and so good. There wasn't a single OST or like there wasn't a single piece of music that I thought sounded bad or anything. So yeah, amazing. But yeah, this was definitely very interesting to see. I've been really curious about Genshin for a long time and Yes, I would definitely be willing to try it out. I mean, I was uh, thinking of trying it out before, but uh, now I want to try it out even more. So I'm definitely going to be playing Genshin and I hope you guys will stick around for the ride. <laughs> but yes, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff helps out the channel a lot. I would much, much appreciate it. I also stream on Twitch every week, like three times a week at least. So you can go check me out there if you want more of my content. I make videos here on YouTube and on other social media. And we have a community Discord server. Link to everything is down in the description. Feel free to join and come hang out. I would love to see you there. But yes, take care, have fun, keep smiling, lots of love. And I will see you guys soon. Bye bye. 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 Are you still watching? Should I let you in on a little secret? But don't tell anyone, okay? Now I want you to scroll down and check the date that this video was posted on. April Fools, bitches! I got you again! Let's go! <laughs> By that I mean, I've been playing Genshin for over two and a half years. I have no life. I don't know what the grass is. Help!